Okay, so we're going to talk about Rosa Bonheur next, and her paintings in the Fine Art Gallery, I think, or it's going to be somewhere, It'll be somewhere on the staircase. It'll be somewhere in the staircase yes. region, we believe. Um, yeah, Rosa Bonheur was a very, very famous animalier, so it's a, a painter of livestock, of uh, animals, horses and cows mainly. Uh, she was born in 1822 uh, in Bordeaux to a family of um, artistic geniuses. So all of her siblings were also very, very good at the arts and they worked okay. together on commissions. Mm -hmm. um, she was enormously influenced by her father um, who raised the children sort of in a progressive manner, um, believing that the genders were equal. This was actually because he was a member of a fairly obscure Christian cult who okay. believed that the Messiah would be female. Oh wow. Um, so and that would have been a, a very unusual um, Very, very unusual. At the time, yeah, at to the believe time. that men and women were equal would have been very... Um, he, actually, they just technically weren't yeah, in yeah. law, mm -hmm. equal law. Um, so she was influenced by her father, and also in terms of her dress. She worked a lot in abattoirs and cattle markets, and she would wear overalls and trousers, which would actually constitute cross-dressing, which was illegal at the time of France. So she needed special permission from the French government in order to wear trousers. Wow. Yes. It's, uh... Yeah, that, um, that was quite a funny story. Yeah, yeah. There was, uh, she was actually arrested on one occasion because she had cropped hair and wasn't particularly pretty uh, for wearing a dress um, because the police believed that she was a man cross-dressing as a woman. Ooh. So normally, day to day, she did it okay, but uh, whenever she put on a dress, she did not run that risk of being arrested. Yes. Mm. Um, so... Uh, when she was fairly young, her father left the family to be closer to the cult. Mm -hmm. uh, her mother died and she was actually raised by uh, friends of the family. And it was their daughter, Natalie Mikas, who was to become her companion uh, for around 50 years. So they, they lived again just outside of Paris. And she actually helped her with the painting. It's really quite sweet. Yeah, but people didn't like raise eyebrows or anything about it because just at that time it was kind of more acceptable mm -hmm. for women to be living together and be single. Mm. Yeah.